creating templates, folders, and predefined document names, edit folder security, and edit and overwrite retention. So let's take a look and let's do it. Okay, back inside eFile Cabinet Online, the benefits of templates. It's to put everybody on the same page when it comes to filing things. There's a uniformity there. And let's go into, for example, the Human Resource Cabinet. And in the cabinet, you can see the many drawers representing the different employees. Each drawer has the same exact folder structure. So if I go down to James Wilson down here, you can see there's five folders. In the permanent folder, there are seven subfolders. If I were to go up to Paula Taylor's drawer, I would see the exact same folder structure. And so these folders actually exist. They were created from templates. I can go into any of the folders and you can see there are files or documents there. You can see there's profile information here and I can peek at the document. Here's James Wilson, the pretend president of my pretend company. I go to the permanent folder. I go down to resume, for example, and there is a couple documents that are in this folder currently, his resume. So where do I create these? How do I create these folders? Now you're looking at five folders here. I'm going to go up to the hamburger menu, the main menu here, and we're going to go down to the admin button, and we're going to go down to templates. Now these are my template libraries. What is a library? A library is basically a subject that contains templates that are related to the subject. Now we're talking human resources. This is my human resource library. Here's my employee template. Here are the same five folders that you saw that were applied in the HR cabinet. And you can see in the permanent folder, you can see there are the seven, there are the seven subfolders. And so I'm going to show you how to create these. It's really simple. The walk me feature here will help you. This is training that you can always go back to. You can click on this and it just walks you. Here's an example. If you want to create a new template, it's going to ask you to right click on the library. You would like to create this template inside of, or if you would like to create a library, first simply click here. And so now it takes you to how to create a library. And that's where we're going to go first. How do you create a library? So but I'm going to shut walk me off. It's there. It's a great tool to come back to. Let me come to my accounting library, for example, and notice I have a lot of different libraries. I teach in different industries. You will not need this many libraries containing all these templates, but the capacity is there in case you ever do. So I'm going to go into the accounting library. I have an accounting individual sub-library, and there's my tax client individual template. And you can see here, I have a 216 folder and I have a bunch of subfolders you can see here. And so when I create a new pretend tax client, this is the template I will apply. And I can either apply one at a time or mass apply. And we'll show you how to do that later. So as I go into any of these subfolders, you'll notice also, here's a predefined document name. And so you can create as many predefined document names under source documents here. You can see I have a, a bunch of different examples of source documents. I want to show you um, one of the companies we work with is HD Vest, and I want to open this up just to show you. Here's an advisory file template. There's one folder in there, but watch how many predefined document names they've set up. They have a bunch. What are predefined document names? Well, in the standard user training, I demonstrate it. This is where you create it. And you can see there's date stamps on there. Again, why would you want a date stamp? Because you can search by dates. This all becomes searchable. It also helps you so that you don't have to type in common documents over and over again. The choices are there ahead of time for you. So how do you create these? Let me show you how easy it is to create. I'm just going to go and create a new library. I come up to the New button. I click on Library. Okay, now it's down at the bottom, so I'm just going to type a name. I'm going to call it 01Demo. And then I'm going to hit the Enter button on my keyboard. I'm going to refresh the browser here, just because now that's going to bring it up to the top because uh, how I've named it. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to start creating my first template. Now, how do I do that? Two ways. 
I can come up to the new button and go down to template or I can right click and I'll do that from now on because it's right at my fingertips I love the right click functionality new template so now I have a new template now I can name that template whatever I want I'm just gonna name it a demo template hit the enter key now I want to create my first folder so I left click right click and there is folder and so again I can call this um, folder one enter come back up here if I want another folder vertically in line with the first folder I right click new folder and I'll just call this folder 2 I can come back and edit these names if I ever need to It's very simple to do that and so you can see rename it I can delete it okay so now that's how you create folders now if I want to create a subfolder in here then I just identify the folder by left clicking right clicking new folder and so this is my subfolder and it's that easy now before I go into setting up predefined document names when I look at this folder here notice to the very right this is your detailed menu this is where I can actually set permissions on a template so that if I have a cabinet with permissions already set up in a cabinet then I set permissions on the template when that template is applied in that cabinet or in that drawer I should say in the cabinet these permissions will supersede whatever I might have set up in the cabinet so notice you do not have to worry about setting up permissions for admin users they again can do and see everything so when I actually go to add permissions it's just going to show me my standard users and so if I click on this Ashley standard user I'm identifying that person and I can come down to the bottom here and what level of permissions do I want to put on this template remember from standard user training the view edit delete admin okay so let's say I want her to be able to view and edit this anything that goes in this folder when this templates applied and then I can push it down and I can come down here then and simply click on save now notice let me just make this browser a little bit smaller so we can see it better okay so notice that now Ashley is identified as a standard user that has permissions at this template level now if I have a group of people I can add groups here too so let's come down here let's say this is the accounts payable group and I give them view edit delete permissions and push that down and save it now anyone who's a member of the group will automatically inherit this level of permission when this template is applied again at this level if someone in the cabinet is given let's say Ashley has been given permissions in a particular drawer for view only and it has the same folders when I apply them as a template in this particular folder not this one but this folder she will have view and edit permissions all right the other thing you can do at this level is set retention that's the other button here in the detailed menu and so I can enable it retention let's just go down to this folder instead and enable retention by clicking this button here we talk about retention and standard user trading and this is how you apply it and so let's just say a specific retention date of five years and at the end of the five years I want the documents purged and protected from anyone from editing or deleting them and saving it and so now when I apply this template none of these folders up here will have retention on it but this folder and any documents in it will have a five-year retention and so you can do that also at the level of setting up a template now predefined document names again right click go down to new predefined document name and I can say that let's say this is a if we're talking tax a W2 okay now do I want a date stamp on it okay do I want on the left or right side depends where I put my cursor so let's put a date stamp here so now I have a date stamp for that first predefined document name and again I can put as many predefined document names in there as I desire 
So that is how you can create template. They're very easy to do. You can also delete those templates simply by doing that and hitting OK. So all right.